I know you guys are big fans of partnerships and like co-founders. Rich, how did you guys meet, and then how did you decide to like build this business together? Um, I think we met Kevin's rookie year. I was managing an artist named Wale from D.C. And uh, Kevin had just won Rookie of the Year, and he was on his way to a Jay-Z concert. And Wale asked me if I was in town, if I wanted to roll with him to the concert. And being like a hoops junkie, though he was only 19, he was still KD. And it was like, for me, it was an honor to go with him to the show. And I remember after the game, Jay-Z, I've told this story before, Jay-Z wanted him to come back into the dressing room and say what up to him. And he kind of looked at me like, I'll be there one day, but I'm not ready yet to go see one of my idols in the dressing room. And that obviously shocked me a bit as I ran off to the dressing room to chill and left him <laughs> behind. Um, so you didn't but, go? No, I didn't. I didn't. I, I don't know what it was, but I, I felt like I had, to, I had to wait my turn to, you know, mingle, mingle with those guys. I felt like I had to prove myself on the basketball court, as weird as that sounds. <laughs> When did you finally meet Jay Z? Uh, it, was, it wasn't too. It wasn't too. You know, next day. Yeah, probably the next. <laughs> Bre breakfast. <laughs> yeah, the next. The next year. Once I started to establish myself, I felt like more people wanted to watch me play. But it was some weird thing I had in my own brain that I wanted to prove myself on the basketball court. That's great. So yeah, you guys met at a very yeah, cool so, moment. So we met and we and we kept in touch and we just really talked ball and like and I see now looking back on it like understanding him so much and understanding in a lot of ways like why people question at times why he's so quick to engage and interact is just he really just loves to have conversation and learn about other people and hear their point of views and that's unique and rare but for me it kind of really was the same way in which I communicated so we just spoke about basketball and you know life is timing so when we started getting into the sports world it was at a time in his life where you know he was in a transition professionally off the court and it was just like the stars were aligned. But even then, when we first met, it was really about sharing information with one another and getting to know each other. And like, everybody has dreams. You know, like, it you, you have to feel confident enough sometimes to be able to say what your real dream is because you're worried about what someone may say or if you feel like they doubt you. But in my mind, I knew I wanted to be somebody. I wanted to be regarded. I wanted to own my own business. And for Kevin, I think at that same point in his life, he was coming up with the courage and confidence to say, you know what? I'm ready to be bigger than an NBA player. I'm ready to have a generational wealth and build an organization and build a foundation. When we both kind of realized that we had these same like entrepreneurial kind of spirits and desires and energies, then that's when it was time to partner and connect, you know? But it took a process. It took like sharing like real information and secrets about what we envisioned from our lives to know that we were in sync. And you got to keep doing that to kind of keep refueling that partnership. You mentioned it was a long process, but was there a moment what went from like, hey, we're talking about this to like, hey, let's like start this company, let's do it. Was there like a moment that made that happen or was it more kind of gradual? Yeah, it was a gradual process. I mean, um, we, it was about three or four times that I had to convince Rich to just like, let's do it, you know, before we talk through stuff. Because my thing is like, I just, I just like to just go and Rich is like, oh, slow down a bit, let's figure these details out. And I think with this situation, we did some massaging with everything, with the people around us, with, you know, where we were in our lives individually, family life, everything. We threw that in a pot and talked about it, and we was able to come up with something that's so special to us and, and to our families.